Hi y'all, my name is Michelle Miyagi and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've seen lots of people do this. It's like um, recommendations or advice for your younger self or a letter to your younger self and uh, what you would like to tell yourself knowing what you know now um, to help the person from your past. Um, and I think it's kind of healing and helps to put things in perspective. So what I would tell my younger self, the little girl that I was, is that it's not your fault. Uh, there's nothing wrong with you and it's okay to have feelings and to be who you are, that you are inherently worthy and that the world around you may tell you differently and uh, you may go through some traumatic things which will make you fearful and maybe dim your light a bit, but that's not the truth of who you really are and you can't help it. You are a little girl and there's only so much you can control. And what I would say is that to cherish the things in your life that do bring you love and joy and that feel really true and right for you. And that's really the truth. Um, all the other things that happen is not your fault and it's not anyone else's fault. That's just what's been passed down through generations, the fear and the need to control and the pain, but it's not your fault. And uh, there's nothing to feel guilty about and you don't have to make it right. What's m most important is for you to love yourself and be the joyful little girl that you are. And then to my teenage self, <laughs> I would say that you're beautiful just the way you are. You don't have to conform and you're not an object to be used. You don't have to please everybody. You don't have to be a caretaker. You don't have to be a peacemaker. That you have a right to be who you are and to experiment and to speak your truth and you're still worthy and you're, you don't have to bend to society. In fact, that's gonna Hold you back. So as soon as you can, once you reach your 20s, now that's the time where you do have a say so. Up until then, you, you've been under the rule of your family and now's your time to seek out the truth. Well, unfortunately, you may be afraid and uh, that's reasonable because of what you've been through. But I would say to you, knowing what I know now, is that the best thing to do is to go to where the love is, no matter your fears, and do what you need to do to find your truth. And that what you've learned so far is not the truth and that the things that you're going through right now, um, all your anxiety and everything is because of baggage from the past, passed down through generations, and now's your chance to break free. But instead, you know, unfortunately, you and lots of us will just stay safe in what feels comfortable, which may not be healthy for us. And my hope is that by sharing this video and what I write, I can help other people make the changes sooner than I did. And um, I wanna say that it's okay. Wherever you are, it's okay. You're worthy no matter what society tells you or what you tell yourself based on what you've been through, that 
you are worthy and you deserve the best and you deserve to live the life that's the best for you, a loving, nurturing, supportive environment and doing the things that feel right for you, that bring you joy and that you don't have to conform to what this world says is the right way to be. That that is only going to keep you trapped even longer. So I really <laughs> could go into so much more detail and, and could say so much more. Um, I'm going to write a blog post along these lines and maybe that will help. But wherever you are, there is always hope for something better. You don't have to settle for anything. You have agency over your life and it's up to you to do what you need to to heal and find your truth and to live the life that's best for you. And I would like to help if I can. And thank you so much for listening. Bye.